Good morning, and uh, what a what an unbelievable day! Certainly a great day for for Mizzou baseball. Uh, we're uh, extremely extremely excited, and uh, uh, look forward to uh, some great years ahead uh, in terms of our program, and certainly uh, winning winning championships. Uh, coaches. Uh, relationship and in, in mine got off to a little bit of a rocky start um, I asked him uh, the last time that we spoke I asked him who was going to win the College World World Series and uh, he chose the other team over my alma mater um, so but uh, it, it certainly proves that he knows baseball a lot a lot better than I do so um, but uh, again it, it is a great day and uh, on behalf of Chancellor Foley, uh, he sends his regrets. He couldn't be here, but uh, I know that uh, he is excited, uh, certainly, to meet Coach Beezer and, uh, and excited about our baseball program. Uh, I want to I recognize Coach Jamison for uh, a great 22 years as, as head baseball coach and thank him for, uh, for everything that, that he did for the program. You know, we talk about developing young people and uh, Coach Jamison did that uh, extremely, extremely well. Also with us today, where's Coach McCarter? Coach, raise your hand. Uh, head coach here for 21 years. So Coach McCarter, 21 years. Coach Jamison, 22 years. And uh, Coach Beezer, 23 years. How, how old would that make you? Old. old. All right. Time for you to retire. So. But, uh, and I also want to thank Coach McCarter for, for all his help. Uh, he was part of the search process, uh, part of the team. And uh, so thank you, Coach, for, for your insight. Uh, Tim Hickman, where's Tim? Tim? Tim was also part of the search process and, and helped and serves as our sport program administrator, uh, as well as uh, Ren Baker and uh, Brian White. And uh, Coach, they, they send their apology, but they had to get on to their 4th of July uh, vacation so but uh, all all four did just a tremendous job and uh, and really a great process uh, what, what excited me most is is that there was a lot of interest in this in this job and, and we knew that we knew that uh, that there would be uh, but uh, there was great great interest and uh, and it was tough narrowing it down we, we started you know probably vetting uh, 15 to 18 candidates uh, made a ton of phone calls uh, to people uh, that, that I would consider, you know, college baseball people um, that, uh, again, the, the four or five of us uh, were blessed to, to have great relationships with. Uh, so had uh, many, many conversations. Uh, finally ended up uh, interviewing six in person, uh, um, brought it down to two finalists, and then uh, selected Coach Beezer. And we couldn't, again, be, be more excited. You know, why, why Coach Beezer? Uh, I think it starts with integrity. Um, he is a man of unbelievable integrity. Um, you, you talk to so many people that had intersected uh, with his life and the impact that, that he's had on them and the way he's carried himself uh, throughout uh, his, his baseball career, his time at St. John Vianney, his time at, uh, at uh, Southeastern Missouri. Uh, his his integrity uh, just uh, un unbelievable, and uh, you know we believe, or I believe philosophically, we believe that uh, you can't be great on the field unless you're great off the field. And uh, and coach certainly shares uh, that philosophy. And I'm excited because you know the one thing that we continue to hear over and over again uh, about him as a coach and the student athletes that 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 played for him is he got them to do things they never thought they could do. That, that they became better um, in all facets of life. Uh, not just certainly on the baseball field, but, but in everything. And, uh, and we heard from, from some former student athletes. And so, again, his ability to do that, his, his ability to, to identify talent and, and develop talent was certainly, was certainly a part of it. Uh, he's been a proven winner. Everywhere he's been, he's been able to win, um, and, and that certainly speaks volumes. Uh, he's been able to figure it out, and uh, and he's he's certainly going to do that do that here. You know, he spent he spent 13 years uh, in Major League Baseball, and I mean this as a compliment. Uh, 
probably should have only spent five and, and was found a way to work hard, outwork everybody, um, overachieve, all of those things, and spend 13 years in, in major, major League Baseball. And I think that, that is a great, great accomplishment. Uh, I've been doing this for, for 16, 17 years, have, have interviewed a lot of uh, prospective head coaches, and um, he's one of the smartest people that, uh, that I've interviewed. Uh, he's got great, uh, I refer to it as intellectual horsepower, and again, finding a way to get it done and to win, um, there's, there's no question, no question in, in, in my mind. You know, the, the, obviously, you know, this job, it's an, it's an SEC job, okay? We all get that. But it's more than just an SEC job. This is a Midwest job as well. And, and you've got to understand the, the Midwest and the landscape and, and where to recruit and how to find players and, and, those, and those connections and those relationships. And, um, and we think that, that Coach Beezer certainly uh, and absolutely brings that, brings that to, to, uh, to the table. And then finally, um, his passion for this job. This is his dream job. And uh, the way he spoke about uh, being, the, being the head coach at the, at the University of Missouri and his excitement for that and what it means to him uh, certainly uh, resounded um, big time for, for us. So um, as I mentioned, we are extremely, extremely excited uh, to, uh, to introduce our fourth in the last 79 years, and uh, overall 14th head baseball coach of the University of Missouri. And let me introduce your family, your beautiful family. You're, you're a heck of a recruiter. Um, but Diane, Cole, Whitney, Riley, and Carly, thank you for being here. Coach Beezer, come on up. not going to mess up his hair. All right. Let's, let's hold that up there for a second. There you go. And then we're going to turn it around. 